Hello, all you lovely people, and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall and install the latest display driver version for your Lenovo Legion Go. And um, I'm going to be uninstalling the 25.5.1. Prior to this, I was running 25.3.1, which was actually relatively stable. This one, I've had issues with this one on a few games, especially I was playing Lost Soul Aside very recently. And my game ran into a lot of crashes when I was playing it with this particular driver version. Also, when I try to change the uh, settings in AMD Adrenaline itself, AMD Adrenaline crashes quite a lot. So I'm not sure whether this driver version has an issue with my particular Legion Go or whether you are also having a problem with 25.5.1. Please comment and let me know. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this driver version and I'm going to install another driver version, which is this right here. Now, this is also comparatively newer. This came out on the 6th of um, August. The other one came out, I believe, in May, if I'm not wrong, April or May. So this is comparatively a newer version. So I'm going to click on that download, and I'm going to download this. I think I've already done that. So this has gone into my downloads folder. Let's click on that. So this is the AMD Ally driver, interestingly. So what will be interesting is that this is an Ally driver, but let's see how this actually runs with my Legion Go. So is it going to work on my Legion Go in the first place is also something that we'll get to find out in this video. So the first thing that you would need to do is install something called DDU Uninstaller, because what you would need to do is you will need to remove any remnants of AMD from your um, uh, main drive. Your, uh, I've already done that. I manually removed it, so that is not an issue. This is something which shouldn't be there. So I'm going to remove this as well. I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to empty my recycle bin. So everything is gone. Everything is clean. And I don't have any remnants of something called AMD here. Absolutely clean. But just to be sure that you remove everything, because you still have AMD Adrenaline running, yeah? So you need to remove this version. How do you do that? You need something called DDU Uninstaller. So make sure you have DDU Uninstaller installed. I already have it in my downloads folder here. And I'm going to be running this Display Driver Uninstaller so that I can remove 25.5.1 completely. And for you to do that, what you need to do is go into your settings, go into your Windows Update, go into your Advanced Options, go into Recovery, and then click on this Advanced Startup Restart Now. Now, when you restart this way, what would happen is, before I do that, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off just to make sure that nothing is running in the background. Now, when you do this, you'll be restarting a machine in safe mode. At least there will be an option of restarting a machine in the safe mode. So now what you're doing is you're getting into the settings where you can start your machine in the safe mode. So when you restart this time around, you'll be greeted with a blue screen. That's absolutely fine. And it should not be concerning because this is pretty standard. It's pretty normal. So wait for your machine to restart. You will for sure get a blue screen. No doubt about that. There you have it, blue screen. So let me show you the options. Let me tilt my machine here. Take it back a bit so that you can see all the options that are here. Okay. Now, the option that you need to select is troubleshoot. You need to select on advanced options here. And you need to go into startup settings and click on that restart button. Now, when you click on that restart button, you will be greeted with yet another blue screen. Again, nothing to be bothered about. It's pretty standard because now you are actually selecting the safe mode option. So just tap on the screen. You will get a keyboard here. Choose four because four is the option of starting your PC in safe mode. Now, when you start in safe mode, in some cases, your orientation will change again. It will go back to landscape mode or it will remain in portrait mode. Uh, nothing to worry about because you can change the orientation anytime you want by going into your display settings. So I'm just going to put in my password here. One quick second. So I'm in the safe mode now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the DDU uninstaller, which is in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go into the downloads folder, go into the DDU uninstaller folder, and I'm going to click on that DDU uninstaller. Now, the moment you do that, you will have a screen like this come up. Just choose what do you want to uninstall, audio or GPU. Select GPU. It will do all the selection for you. You don't have to do any other selection. 
All you have to do is just select that GPU. Do a clean and restart, and it will automatically restart once it's deleted all display driver information from your machine. It's a pretty straightforward process, and it's not very difficult to clean your uh, AMD display drivers this way. So, pretty standard. And once the whole process is completed, you obviously will have your PC restart again. And you don't need to manually do it. It will automatically restart. So you know, it's shutting down and it's going into that restart mode. This is all pretty normal, guys. So there's nothing to be worried about. This is as it's intended to be. So once you restart your machine, it will uh, most likely start in this portrait mode again. But like I told you, you can always change the display orientation. And I'm going to go into the display settings and do exactly that. Because otherwise, it can be pretty distracting, this display mode that is. So I'm going to bring my machine forward a bit. So you can all take a look at this beautiful screen of the Legion Go. I'm going to shut that off because uh, it was running from my previous game. But here, what's interesting is that it's not going to show me a lot of options, simply because it no longer has AMD Adrenaline. So when I click on show more options, AMD Adrenaline does not show up here. This means that I no longer have AMD Adrenaline installed. And that is exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm going to go into the downloads folder and I'm going to go into this display driver and click on this. But before I do that, what I'm also going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call it new new driver so just create a folder because i have multiple folders now of different uh, display driver versions so therefore i'm just creating new driver you can name the folder anything you want or like so let's finally get into downloads double click on it it will open up an install box again pretty standard process that's fine yes Next, I accept, and this is where you stop. Don't proceed. Don't click on that next button. Because what you need to do is not install, but rather extract. Yes, that's right. Do not install. Extract. Click on that next button. Click on that next button. And now you want to make sure that you install it in this new folder. So click on next. And now you install. So you know where your new driver files are located so this is what you need to follow fair enough you have done that and now you have a new driver folder now what you need to do is go into your device manager so i'm just going to click on device manager head in there you need to go into display drivers you need to right click here you need to update your driver and you need to click on browse my computer let me pick you have a disk for it you're going to browse it again you know where you kept your display drivers. Just to be sure, you're going to click on PC. You're going to go into that folder called new driver. You're going to go into this folder, into packages, into drivers, into display. And you need to select this INF file. This is the one that you need. So you click on OK. OK. And wait a minute here. Don't click on that next button. What you need to do is make sure you select. AMD Radeon graphics. So this is what you need to select. This is the option that you need to select. Click on next, click on yes, and it will run its course. So I'm just going to let it run in the background. And there's still one more thing that you need to do after this. We are almost there. And um, I hope so far it's been a pretty straightforward process. And um, it's easy peasy. What I will always recommend is that you do not skip any part of the video even five to ten seconds it could be problematic so this is done and it might change your orientation again but it is all pretty normal so we're going to close this we're going to close this because i don't like this display orientation i'm going to go into the display settings again and i'm going to go back over to landscape flipped so this is all good so far it's exactly how we wanted it to be 
Now we're going to go into that same file, the same file that we clicked on, but the last time we clicked on extract, but the difference this time around would be that when you click on it, you're going to click on install instead of extract. So that's the major difference that's going to happen this time around. So you click on OK, you click on Next, you click on Accept, but instead of Extract, this time you're going to click on Install, Next, Next, Install, and let it install the file. It will most, most likely ask you to restart your PC. So again, that's pretty normal. Restart required. That's all right. Uh, this was for the audio, by the way, but this is for the video driver. So we're going to restart the PC and hopefully this time when I log in, I will have the option of AMD Adrenaline. Let's find out. So let it restart. And um, let's see how this works. And I'm in. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. The new display driver version should work. And when I click on AMD, when I right click, it should give me AMD Adrenaline option. Voila. So I already have the AMD Adrenaline option now, which I did not have previously when I started this video. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show you the version that it now shows. It's always advisable that you give the window some time to load in because it just makes sure that your machine runs fast. So now the display driver version that I have is 25.10.13.11, which released on the 21st of uh, July 2025. So comparatively newer to my previous driver version. And just to test this out, I'm going to play a game like, let's say, Lost Soul aside. Because the last time I played this with 25.5.1, I had a pretty bad experience. Hopefully, the experience should not be as bad. And it had also crashed when I was changing these settings in AMD Adrenaline. So this time around in Adrenaline, at least I don't have that issue. So I've changed the settings as per my liking. These are the same settings that I ran with originally when I played this on 25.3.1. It's saying that because my internet is off. You remember I turned my internet off, so I'm going to turn it back on. So I'm going to play with the same settings that I was playing with when I had 25.3.1, then 25.5.1, and now 25. I don't even know the version. I forgot. It's so long. Let me just show you the version again. 25.10.13.11. <laughs> so hopefully this should be comparatively more stable than 25.5.1 because my experience with 25.5.1 has not been good. And that is exactly why I uninstalled it. So let's start this game. We're going to play this game and I'm going to try and load an old save file and uh, just show you a little bit of performance, like uh, a couple of minutes and just tell you how it's running. I mean, are there any improvements? Just a small test that I want to run because um, I played this game with 25.3.1. The game was running pretty stable. I played this with 25.5.1. And the game was uh, comparatively better in terms of performance, but there were occasional stutters and the game crashed a couple of times. Therefore, I'm here with this display driver version. I'm going to go into the display settings and see if it's on the same settings. 800p, yes, and graphical preset is low. So the same settings I had previously, I'm running this time around as well. Let's see what a kind of performance can I get with this new display driver version. Is it any better? Is it more stable? I'm just going to play a couple of minutes. And uh, this time, I may not be able to give you an accurate kind of um, uh, scenario. But I am going to fiddle around with this display driver with other games as well. And I'm going to make a lot more videos. Now, I do make videos like these. Like these are my Let's Play videos and install videos on uh, the Legion Go. So you can find all these videos on my channel. Feel free to go through them. And if you like this video, then please do hit that like button and subscribe button as well. It de definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel grow. So I greatly appreciate your love, your support, and uh, your like and subscribe. So I'm just going to play this game for a few, maybe a minute or so. <laughs> and I'm just going to commentate on how this game looks. It looks pretty all right. 
I'm getting almost the same performance that I was getting with 25.3.1. So there's not, there's not much of a change there. It's pretty much the same. In fact, I think it was comparatively more stable with 25.3.1. With 25.5.1, I did get performance boost and the performance was comparatively better. But uh, yeah, the performance was definitely better with 25.3.1 when it comes to this game. It varies from game to game, guys. So it can change. The game is literally struggling here. I mean, it is stuttering quite a lot. Yeah, so the game is not running that well, but at least it's not crashing. With 25.5.1, I ran into crashes. At least that's not what I'm facing out here. But the performance is definitely not as good as um, 25.3.1 when it comes to this game. Again, it can vary from game to game, guys. So I chose this game because I'd recently played this. I still think 25.3.1 was better. But hey, this was mainly a video about how to sideload these drivers. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And again, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and uh, may God bless you all.